2 minute EM approach to the poison patient. Number 1. Listen to your paramedics. They might have picked up something nuanced from the history that might be missed later on. Listen to the SBAR handover carefully, then browse the PRF or paramedics report form for hidden gems like the temperature and the BM. Number 2. Talk to your patient if you can. Look at your patient. Are they drowsy? Are they agitated? Use all your senses in that opening 30 seconds. Do they appear drunk but without evidence of ethanol ingestion? Have they been in the house fire and smell of bitter almonds? And always, always think about patient dignity. Number three, get your venous blood gas early doors. It's going to give you a really good heads up as to whether your patient is metabolically sick. Number four, I once got told that one ECG begets another, and it's very true. You should never see one ECG in isolation, especially with poison patients. The QRS and QT intervals can change fairly rapidly, and this can affect your patient's heart rhythm. Number five, pattern recognize. Know your toxidromes, and remember that paracetamol has a silent initial toxidrome. Could this be an anticholinergic toxidrome? Or has this patient got loads of ankle clonus and appears serotonergic? Number six, and then go to Toxbase and check out every drug that your patient's taken. Toxbase is an invaluable resource, not just for treatment, but also how long to monitor your patient for. Number seven, plan ahead. With the poison patient, it's sometimes difficult to know which stage of the toxidrome they're at. Are they coming up or are they coming down? Toxbase will help you plan for most eventualities. And perhaps the most important eventuality is number eight, assessing flight risk. Make as good a mental state assessment as you can for your patient. And if the patient tries to leave, then please ask for help because they might need restrained or detained. Additional notes for each slide are in the show notes section. Thanks for listening.